I will never leave this stage without posing that question to everyone in this room. Do you have a tragic story? Is that tragic story keeping you from doing good? Are you looking at your community being totally destroyed by evil men and women and because you feel you have a tragic story so you can't step out? It may not be at the depth to which the Liberian women descended. It may not be anything close or it may even be greater than what you think. But looking at their struggles on TV and looking at everything that I'm telling you that they've gone through and continues to go through, how do you intend to use the tragedy of your story to make an impact on your community? The world that we live in now is a world that sometimes I wonder where are the good people? And I will answer myself, we are the good people. We are the ones who have stepped back and allow evil to take over. And if I'm getting my scripture right, the Bible says darkness will bow to light. This is a rallying call for each and every one of us, Americans, Africans, we need to step into the light so that evil can step back out. Are you not noticing in your community? Because I'm noticing in my community and it makes me angry. The objectification of our young women as sex objects. The objectification of our young men as drug addicts. I'm angry. Because if we set such beautiful legacy, this is a university associated with peace, harmony, development, and I know how much peace I enjoy in this space. And if we sit in this space and allow evil to continue to control our country, our economy, everything, even our society and the social aspect of our society, what will we tell our children in the future? You can never journey to peace building. You can never journey to changing your communities if you hold on to the anger and the evils of this world. And this morning, as I receive this award, this is also a clear manifestation to me and to my family members here and to all of us fighting for the good of this world that, like I said on Friday night, we will not hold on to evil. We will do good because we are of the conviction and we, are firmly, we firmly believe that good can definitely overcome evil. Join us as we journey to peace building. Join us as we journey to changing this world. Don't hold on to evil, no matter how deep it is.